Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really struggled with coming up with presentation boards and mood boards whilst I was at university. I actually procrastinated so much that I ended up starting my own e-commerce brand. It was one way of distracting myself from sitting down at the computer and just mindlessly going through over and over and over all sorts of different mood board styles, all sorts of different presentation styles, and trying to come up with something that I thought the tutors would find appealing. It was actually when I was doing my e-commerce that I found Canva. Now look, Canva is definitely not the be all end all for creating architectural presentation documents, but it was such an incredible tool that actually changed my life and saved me so much time. So today I thought because a lot of you guys have been asking in the private Discord chat, there is a link down below if you wanna join it, about how I created my presentation boards back at university. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna preface this video with there is a tracking link down below. That's because I reached out to Canva a couple weeks ago and we struck a deal. Now, I wanna make it very clear before you click away from this video, Canva is actually 100% free. You don't have to pay for a single thing. You sign up, you create an account, and you can do pretty much 99% of the things. They do have a premium plan that allows you to access an extensive library of content, which is fantastic, but it isn't 100% required. I only gained some sort of commission out of this if you purchase a premium plan. Now, having said that, at the same time, I know deep down that you are given a 30-day free trial. My tracking link only accepts some sort of commission if you sign up within the first 30 days. So basically what I'm saying is I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart because even if you do go out and buy a premium plan, you're most likely gonna sign up to the first 30 days as a free trial because why wouldn't you? And then after that, I gain nothing out of it. Nonetheless, I do genuinely believe in Canva. I have genuinely used it for the past, I don't know, seven, eight years, however long it's been since I've been at university. It has been a phenomenal tool to be able to be accessed so quickly and changed so quickly. I ended up creating my resume on it. It got me my first job. I ended up creating all sorts of digital mood boards and I even created an e-commerce book that was part of one of my first businesses. So everything that you think you can do on Photoshop, you can probably do it quicker on Canva. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys today exactly what Canva is about, what qualities are on here and what we can really do with Canva. As you can see, I've created my e-commerce books down below, which I will link down below if you're interested in any way, shape or form. I've also created all the instruction booklets and the checklists that are on my website. So to this day, I am still genuinely using Canva as a great tool and great accessory to basically creating quick digital design packages and presentation boards. I've already logged in, I've already got my account. So what you're seeing here is if you were to sign up and join Canva for 100% free. Up the top, you'll see templates which showcase a whole bunch of different professional utilities that you can actually use in your day-to-day -day life. Anything from social media through to business. Now, personally, when I'm looking for something architecture related, I tend to go to the infographics page here up the top in the templates and scroll through this to get some inspiration. I like the infographics because for the very simple reason, I usually create these sorts of documents for an informative purpose. They aren't so much for presenting drawings anymore as they used to be. They are purely now just for creating and presenting all sorts of different ideas and concepts in the workplace. So as you can see in this template folder, there is a hundred million different ideas and templates that you can basically choose from and they're stupidly simple to edit and change. So let's scroll up and pick a completely random one. Let's go oh, writing for TV. Let's go customize this document and let me just explain how simple it is to use Canva. Now, if I was to export it, I'd get exactly this as it's showcased and shown on screen. It would be a PDF that I could change the size and dimensions of or I can simply go through and actually just change everything as I see fit. So let's say I wanted it to really represent my brand a little bit more. I wanted it to be a bit more genuine in the space and I didn't want it to seem like none of it actually matched whatsoever. I could go through, change the colors that quickly, that easily on any of these diagrams, double click on the text and just start typing 
anything that I wanted. It is genuinely that easy to update. If I wanted to zoom in to see what I was actually doing, I could zoom in by using the zoom tool, zoom out, very similar to Photoshop. On the left hand side, you have a whole bunch of elements. So anything that you're looking for, anything that you're trying to actually implement and change, you can literally just drag and drop a chart directly into it. Now, if I was creating some sort of infographic and I wanted the percentage to be more or less, simply dragging around these sliders, changing bits and pieces will very simply allow me to get my brand detailing in to how I specifically like it. Now, again, if I didn't want that there, reshape, resize, drag and drop. As you can see, I've uploaded plenty of my own previous information to be able to generate text and imagery as I wanted it to. You can even upload all sorts of different text, fonts, everything is free, everything is easy to use. If you do stumble upon a paid feature, so for example, if I come into Elements, scroll up, there's a couple paid graphics here. So this is where Canva really excels with good quality graphics. You obviously have heaps of free versions like this couch, but if you wanted to upgrade to a completely different couch, then you would actually have to pay an upgraded fee. Now, as you can see, I've changed that color to light gray so you can actually see it, and it will be blanked out with the Canva watermark. If I wanted to remove the watermark, I'd have to either pay a $1 fee or I could simply join Canva Pro. Now, as I'm editing this video, I've realized that I didn't actually mention any of the links in the description box below. If you guys want to check them out, there is some great content for all sorts of architects, architecture students, or anybody in the industry. There's links down below to all the digital downloads which feature, for example, construction checklists to help you guide what you need to have on a set of construction drawings. There's also Archicad title blocks down there, and I've even put the e-commerce book that I talked about on this video. Below that, you'll find the Canva link, and you will also find the Discord group chat. If you're in the industry any way, shape or form, practicing professional or student, please feel free to join the group chat. It is a collective of people that is genuinely just trying to help each other grow and improve as much as we can. There's plenty of people on there that know way more than me about ArcCAD and architecture in general and I'm so grateful that those people have joined and contributing to this community. So if you are interested, just take a look at the description box down below, check out all the different links and see how they can benefit you in hopefully one way, shape or form. If I wanted to create something a little bit more architectural, so let's close out of that and close out of that and come back to our homepage. You'll see that the template I was working on is thrown into my recents. I'm gonna delete that because I don't need that. I'll showcase you something that I created. This ebook I created in under one hour and it is the redacted version of the paid version, so I'm not gonna give all the way, all the secrets away straight away, but basically I've created a whole ebook that has a million and one different little bits and pieces, little different infographics, and just overlay after overlay after overlay that genuinely would have taken me three or four days to create via Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, if not even longer, to go through and create every single one of these little graphics. It just wouldn't have been worth the time to go and create all of these little icons, all of these little people. It, it just makes so much more sense to do it through something like Canva that already has all that information on there and it's literally drag, drop, move, click change the color of the cloud, I want it to be green. It doesn't take a lot of knowledge to be able to use this program and that's why I found it so useful, so practical, especially now in the real world. Even if we go back to something like the working drawings checklist, I'll give you guys a little glimpse. This is available to download at my store, but this is basically the first free glimpse you'll ever get on my channel. But basically I created this on here instead of creating it via Photoshop or InDesign because it's just so simple. I can click on one of my images, I can link it directly to my site, I can click on one of the icons for social media, link it directly to my YouTube channel and not have to go back in to PDF Pro and then actually individually link every single bit and piece. It's just so simple and so easy to use that it makes any document creation, regardless of it's a presentation board, a simple mood board, a PDF document, or whatever you're trying to create, just genuinely so easy to make. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Today's video was definitely less of a tutorial and a little bit more of a general resource that you guys can go out and use any time of day. It is so simple to use that I don't think I need to create an in-depth tutorial. If you think I do, please leave a comment down below and I will definitely create some sort of tutorial for you guys to be able to actually understand Canva a lot better. If there is anything else you wanna see, as always, leave the comment down below. And please remember to smash the like button because the like button actually helps with the YouTube algorithm, believe it or not. And also, if you enjoyed this content, please smash the subscribe button so I know that you guys are enjoying this content and I should create more of it more often. But anyway, that is all from me today. Like always, I'll see you next Monday.